Hi everyone, it is September 5, 2018. I am going to read some excerpts of this NATO document, Social Media as a Tool of Hybrid Warfare. I will link below to everything and click on the link if you want to read in detail what hybrid warfare is and to understand that this is the warfare that is going on 24-7 every single day and it has been going on for years. Why are they conducting hybrid warfare? Because it proves successful. Proves successful. How? Is there any trust in this community of ours on YouTube? Is there any trust on Facebook or any social media platform? No. No. And, you know, I, I just listened to a video today. It was two hours long of two uh, geoengineering activists. And, and much of it was uh, concerning those who have infiltrated to cause a lot of division. I've been receiving from subscribers emails asking for feedback about so and so. Another subscriber, well, throughout the entire time that I've been on YouTube, I have had so many subscribers email me telling me, watch this one. Don't trust this one. Um, conversations with people who are activists and they talking about an awful lot of people. And to this day, I don't believe anybody gave me any evidence real evidence that so-and-so was actually a disinformation agent, a shill, whatever. This is very dangerous. It is so dangerous for people to be talking about other people in a way that discredits them without any evidence. Now, one can have their own feeling, their sense of someone, uh, a hunch. But if you don't have any evidence, don't communicate it. If you communicate it, you are part of the... You end up giving them exactly what they want which is all of us fighting with one another and you know the objective is to break down trust when we don't have any trust nothing will ever organize nothing will manifest as a force because we need that foundation of trust so in six years on YouTube, now I can say that everybody is pretty much working on their own. There's no force whatsoever. Uh, it's rather embarrassing what is going on. We've, we end up doing work that gets us nowhere. And I really want to get somewhere, but I don't think I'm going to see that in my time because it also involves people really writing themselves individuals working on themselves so that they understand how their brain works they have an awareness that brings to their consciousness 
their behavior before they actually behave in a way. They have an awareness of presumptions that they make about other people. And they have an awareness of the evidence or lack of evidence that they have. So with that awareness, if they don't have any evidence, they wanting to be a force that will reestablish trust, if they don't have any evidence, they will not speak. They will not communicate it because they'll understand it's just a presumption, it's my hunch, and you know what? I don't want to be influencing other people without any evidence. This is crucial here, crucial for six years. I have been talking about the, 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 uh, the need for all of us to behave in ways and to communicate in ways that reestablishes trust not breaks it down. And in six years, it has been broken down to a point where I question everybody. Now, I extend, you know, a certain level of trust to everyone. You betray that trust, that's it. And you know how people can betray trust? By talking about other people and they don't have any evidence. And unfortunately, you know, I, I did have, you know, some cyber relationships with people that I ended. That I ended. Uh, that I just couldn't continue because of what they were communicating to me about other people. And so, uh, you know, I think this hybrid warfare, we have to understand the tactics that are used so that we don't fall prey to those tactics. And once we understand what is happening, we can then either, you know, individually, and unfortunately it will be individually because, you know, there's nothing organized here, nothing. And that is a great frustration of mine because, you know, it's like the same old, same old. And I, I, I get tired. I get really tired of it. Um, so we also have to understand that we are being used. Today, I turned on the radio in the car, and there's Sean Hannity, it's Hillary, it's um, Comey, it's Trump, it's Russia, it's uh, Steele, and the dossier, and the Pfizer court, and we've been doing this for what, now solidly, solidly for, I guess at the end of the year, it'll be a solid two years, not able to ever get off one particular issue. Why is that? We know that people need to be arrested and they're not getting arrested because it's a drama staged wanting the American people to be distracted with all of these dramas so that they are not able to engage in any kind of fashion to even understand what is going on outside of that drama and a lot is going on outside of that drama. A whole lot. Weather warfare continues. All of the agendas. Not one agenda has even slowed since Trump took office. Every agenda is continuing. 
continuing on at an accelerated speed. I look at the headlines where I live in Anderson, South Carolina. Oh my God, you know, today, um, South Carolina requires in all schools active shooter drills. The other day it was lesson number one, get vaccinated. Then the day after that it's measles, mumps, makes comeback. You know, so it's the start of the school year and we can't even get through to people about how dangerous these vaccine, uh, vaccines are. I see these agendas even just looking at the headlines on the first page of local newspapers and I bet you do too. And a lot of what is taking place is to confuse the hell out of people. All of this is by design. Okay, hybrid warfare. Now, I just want to go through a few documents. I will link below to everything just so that you can have some kind of understanding. Military concepts and hybrid war. This is a paper, uh, a white paper on hybrid war. The unrestricted warfare ignores and transcends the boundaries of the battlefield and what is not the battlefield between what is and what is not a weapon between military personnel and civilians, between state and non-state actors. I think that was supposed to be non-state actors. The goal is to ensure equal opportunity to the weaker parties of the conflict According to the authors, the hybrid war is fundamentally an asymmetric, irregular warfare using tools like guerrilla and terrorist tactics. Now, think about ISIS, think about Al-Qaeda, think about all of the terrorist organizations that we use as our proxy army to take over other countries. Um, criminal actions. They use criminal actions. Think about the targeted individual who have, you know, these uh, gang stalkers and people walking into their homes just to mess with their belongings to let them know somebody was there. Think about all of the non-lethal weapons that are being used against targeted individuals. Cyber attacks information operations in a planned combination that might be able to affect the security interests of the certain state. I will tell you our security interests have been attacked for many many years and it has gotten to the point where we are pretty much on our knees now. The use of the hybrid warfare or war a, against the American people has been brilliant, successful. Why? Because most Americans are walking the low road and they can't get any higher. When you are on that low level of consciousness, you are ego driven. Life, everything is about yourself. You talk a good game. You don't live your principles. And you're all about me. You are then so easily manipulated by all of these dramas and crap and you're living a lie well people who live a lie are always ready to accept lies oh they don't want to call out the liars why because that might reflect back on them and it might open the door you know somewhere in their consciousness to let them realize, wait a second, you know, how can I be calling out somebody who's lying when I'm actually living a lie? I lie myself. They would have to take a look at themselves. And it, it is absolutely true. Absolutely 100% true. It is harder to conquer yourself than it is to conquer 
an army of a thousand soldiers? That's not the exact quote, but close enough. But how many people look at themselves? How many people take on that fight to really fully understand who they are? And I will tell you that once you do bump yourself up to a higher level of consciousness, you begin to see how many people are walking that low road and do not ever take on anything to bump themselves up. Facing oneself, writing oneself, growing up, all of that stuff. Yeah, it's painful work, it's hard, but it's necessary. It is absolutely 100% necessary, required in this spiritual battle because all of that work puts us finally on the spiritual road. We ain't even on that spiritual road if you have not begun to engage in that uh, period of self-reflective, self-examination, No, you're not even on that road yet because, <laughs> you know, that is the work that's necessary. That's part of the spiritual work. So, it's, it's, it really is very unfortunate to see how many people are, even in the quote-unquote awake community, who are so clueless about their own self. And uh, I've met a lot of them and they just, they will never ever be anyone, a, 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 a person of substance that can actually engage in this fight So, uh, and now, you know, one of the reasons why I'm doing this now is because I'm going down. I'm going to speak very honestly. I am not okay. Uh, my brain is not okay. My physical health is not okay. And now I just have to speak my mind. And that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, we will never get anywhere with this kind of behavior that I'm seeing on YouTube. And no, I don't believe that I am mismature or, you know, oh, I have such a high level of consciousness. I did work enough to get very aware of me, the world around me, very aware of what I say and how I behave in the world. And is it always pretty? Uh-uh, no. I got very aware of the importance of taking responsibility for anything that I do because it's important in the, the bigger picture here. It's important for us collectively. And I will say this, I did get to a point where my principle, truth, it did become far more important than me and my ego. And I realized that that is when everything changes. That is when you cannot sit idly by while injustice is taking place, while children are being hurt, while animals are being hurt, while life is dying. You can't just sit back, keep doing everything that you've always done, same old, same old, in a robotic way, every single day. You change. 
you change when you do that work. And yes, you do get a generative care that Mark Passio talks about, where something inside you compels you to take action. You can't not. It's not an option anymore. So, and, you know, the reason why I'm showing you this hybrid war, and yeah, you know, to you who want the, the quick videos, goodbye. Don't even bother, you know, uh, being a subscriber. I can't do, you know, the truth is not, you know, a, a, a two minute soundbite or a 30 second soundbite. The truth really requires an awful lot of work. It is incredibly demanding. And on certain topics, it requires going into detail. And this is the most important work here. And it is the most important topic because we cannot affect change without individuals changing. Changing. And that does require work. And you need to have also a basis of knowledge for every agenda that is taking place. So every individual has to do that work to get that, you know, uh, foundation of knowledge so that you understand the agendas, so that when you're watching somebody's video, you will have that basis of knowledge, and when they say something that's off, it'll present a question in your mind. And, well, the off could be, okay, I didn't know that, so I have to do further research. Or if the off is, okay, wait a second, uh, why are they saying this? It kind of, it, it's, it's throwing a, um, a curve, you know, and perhaps they are a disinformation agent, perhaps they are, you know, a shill, perhaps they are, you know, somebody who is working to divide our community, or perhaps they are, you know, someone who um, may not have the kind of knowledge, the depth of knowledge, and they're saying something that is wrong, and it needs to be brought to their attention, or um, They could just be innocently, you know, saying things that are so off, but that needs to be brought to their attention. Um, this is war, guys, okay? And we are at war. <laughs> and we are going down. And individuals are going down. And we're losing more and more people in this fight. So we, we all need to work. You know, whether you post videos or not, we all need to work towards uniting and, and organizing rather than fighting and dividing. And whether or not you believe that we could ever get there, look, I don't. Does that mean that I don't try? No, I do have to try. And that's what I'm going to be doing until I'm out of here, meaning gone, dead, life over. Um, so that's why it's really important to understand what is going on with social media and the tactics that they use. All right, I'm sorry for, look, my brain is not quite right, and I'm having difficulty staying on point. So 
I'm just going to be doing the best that I can, and that's that's all I can do. Um, so the cyber attacks information operations in a planned combination that might be able to affect the security interests of a certain state. Its impact seeks to affect different areas, which are thus transformed into some strategic domains, such as those related to the information operations carried out, with the support of the favorable media, the objective consists in the alteration and transformation of will and support for the engagement into conflict of the target state, population, or its leaders. The hybrid warfare involves the use of a very comprehensive and nuanced variety of military activities, resources, programs, and applications, dimensions in such a way that they lead to a nonviolent, pervasive, or persuasive maximization of the political and economic influence to reform the governments or hostile movements, as well as the reversal of the trend of the conditions of instability in the political, social, and economic areas characteristic to the collapse or failed states. It also includes the full spectrum of the capabilities in the field of military information, unconventional weapons, non-lethal ones, combat and support equipment available at all times to be used if the opposing elements belonging to the regular forces or unconventional actors, insurgent forces, terrorist groups, or other opposing elements triggered hostile actions which constitute a direct threat addressed to the activities aimed to normalize the activity of the human community in that particular state. We are the human community and they are using all of these tactics to get us controlled. So when you think about actors, insurgent forces, get out of that, you know, militaristic mind set. This is not the battlefield that one thinks of, you know, when they're thinking about war. This is the home battlefield. Every single day, the battlefield, social media. And the insurgents, infiltrators, unconventional actors. In contrast to the classic war, a purpose is not to take control of the hostile territory of the state, but bring the awareness, the awareness of its society under control. That's why every individual needs to have a keen awareness of their own self and the world around them. And when you have that kind of an awareness, you see differently. You have a kind of a sharper uh, awareness of all of these tactics as long as you have some kind of foundation of knowledge. Hybrid warfare strategy, a nonlinear war fought when a state employs conventional and irregular military forces in conjunction with psychological, economic, political, and cyber assaults. Cyber assaults, shills, leaving the comments, uh, known to either distract or um, influence others in a direction that is opposite to what the 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 channel uh, what the person is saying in the video and we've got a lot of them but we also have ordinary people who are not the shills but they leave their comments and they're not understanding 
because they're kind of, um, they're not quite, they don't have really a control over their own self. And they don't understand their own issues. So they're, they're just leaving these comments, not understanding that what they are doing is, is kind of like, okay, you are inadvertently, okay, but you're working for the wrong side here. You're creating division. You're, you're helping to shatter trust, you know, and, and drive that last nail in because you don't even understand the comments that you're leaving. That's exactly the ripple effect of them. Leaving comments about other people, um, leaving these just these insults, personal insults, um, all of it is really not getting us anywhere, but digging our grave, helping to dig our grave. So economic, political, cyber assaults, psychological, all assaults, uh, confusion and disorder ensue when weaponized information exacerbates the perception of insecurity in the populace as political, social, and cultural identities are pitted against one another, blurring divides influential interest groups and powerful political organizations by exploiting identity politics and allegiances. Do you get that that's exactly what we're living? Uh, hybrid wars are full spectrum wars with both physical and conceptual dimensions. The former, a struggle against an armed enemy, and the latter, a wider struggle for control and support of the combat zone's indigenous population. The support of the home fronts of the intervening nations and the support of the international community. NATO has defined hybrid war as a wide range of overt and covert military, paramilitary, and civilian measures employed in a highly integrated design. Often then we are using the same hybrid war label to describe different things. So, oh God, there are so many papers on the concept uh, of hybrid war versus gray zone. And I'm like, okay, you want to talk semantics? Wow. Okay, here, gray zone. A strategy in the gray zone tries to achieve political objectives surreptitiously without crossing the threshold of direct military confrontation. Classical gray zone activities are subversion, misinformation, economic coercion, coercive deterrence. Well, you know, here, hybrid warfare has been extended covering multiple aspects of the international security la landscape. Russian interference in foreign elections, China's artificial islands, North Korea's cyber attacks, the Mexican drug cartels, jihadist radicalization, and terrorism. All of it, all of these subjects are thrown out to populations and it's all staged and we get so caught up in it and they win. Hybrid warfare is a conflict where actors blend techniques, capabilities, resources to achieve their objectives. Such hybrid conflicts may consist of military forces assuming a non-state identity or involve violent extremist organizations fielding rudimentary combined arms capability as the Islamic State in Iraq and the Levant ISIL has demonstrated in Iraq and Syria. Yeah. I'll link below to everything, Joint Special Operations University Library, Russian Hybrid Warfare, 
if you want to understand it a little bit more. Uh, it's the capstone, um, 124 pages, where you can understand hybrid warfare, the components of political action, covert action, cyber action, information operations, military operations, naval power, use of proxies, power projection, economic warfare, diplomatic action, lawfare, hybrid warfare, and the net war theory. Okay. Net war. Those analyzing hybrid warfare should consider the phenomenon itself as a network with each tactic as a node. In doing so, the hybrid conflict takes on the characteristics of a net war with actors of various sizes and functions interacting with each other without a clear hierarchy. This networked structure is key to maintaining the ambiguous attribution that is characteristic of hybrid warfare campaigns. The network is able to swarm attacking the target from multiple angles and in this case using a variety of means ultimately overwhelming it. Okay, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed with all of uh, the acceleration of all of these agendas and watching so many people get destroyed. I'm overwhelmed with how it's you know, the world is friggin exploding into insanity and violence and destruction but what I'm also overwhelmed with is what's happening just on my channel which I don't understand and that will be another video um, from many different angles. In my six years, I have experienced an awful lot of people leaving comments, attacking me where it hurts. Now, I've also posted videos on my personal um, uh, experiences and what happened to me. So people did have that information, but I found it very odd that, wow, okay. Um, and some were people I thought were supportive subscribers. In real life, meeting subscribers, I was okay. Sorry for the noise. Uh, something really is not right here. Now, I've understood for my entire life, Americans, they're messed up. Uh, we just are, you know, we would never have manifested what we're living if we were not messed up. We are screwed up in our thinking, uh, how we live our lives. It's, it's a mess. But I have had, even before YouTube, but since I have had subscribers turn on me and begin treating me like my family treats me. And I can't explain it. I don't know what happened. So they'll hit you with the knowledge that you have, trying to undermine your research and try to discredit you that way. They'll hit you psychologically. They'll hit you any way they can. But if they have information about you personally, they're going to really go for that because the personal hurts the most. Um, so yes, they're, we've got an awful lot going on right here in our community and you know I'm doing this video because I can't stand how successful how successful all of these measures have been because now 
I'm seeing such a breakdown in trust. I don't know who to trust. All of the people who have spoken to me about other people, they leave a doubt in my mind about someone else. You know, the influence of what we share with one another, get it. It's an, that's an absolute influence. So we've got to be very careful in terms of influencing people. You know, which, which direction do you want to influence them? Do you want to influence them in a way that breaks down their trust of other people based on your hunch? Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've received comments from people who are leaving these comments about someone posting my videos and claiming that that person's doing it to discredit me because this person, you know, believes in the flat earth. Um, <laughs> well, I don't get that, you know, at all. You know, this person is posting on an awful lot of these uh, agendas and just because somebody you know believes in the flat earth and I haven't even gone there um, that I don't care about that but just because somebody does why do you have to bring them down? Why do you have to leave comments? Um, ripping that person to shreds because you think that, well, their job is to is to discredit other people because they're posting other people's work and they're going to do it because they happen to believe in flat earth. Th this kind of thinking is really, uh, you know, And you know what? The bottom line is my work is my work. And I, I, I've said this for six years. I post my primary reason to circulate information. I want the information circulated. Now, if somebody happens upon somebody's website or somebody else's channel, and they have reposted a video of mine. If that person then watching that video on a website or a, a, on another person's channel, if that person who reposted the video believes in something, UFOs or uh, um, whatever it is, you know, the flat earth or Am I discredited because they reposted a video of mine? No. No. My videos, creative commons. Commons. That's the, you know, it's either standard or creative commons. When you put down creative commons, that means anybody can repost your videos. But does it say anything about me? Am I even associated? with the person that has the website or the channel. No. So when you are thinking that somebody's associated with somebody because they've reposted a video of yours, your thinking is uh, faulty and you need to sharpen it. Yeah, that's your job. Social media as a tool of hybrid warfare. Um, Let's see if I can do this in 15 minutes and make this an hour long video. The concept of hybrid warfare. This comes directly out of that NATO social media uh, hybrid warfare document. Okay, concept of hybrid warfare. Unconventional, asymmetric, irregular, hybrid, new generation war warfare. Uh, it, war is not declared at all. Military action starts with the activities of militant groups during peacetime. Non-contact clashes between highly maneuverable fighting groups are used. 
They're, they're, they, they, they use us as pawns. They just move us around as pawns to fight with one another. It so pisses me off that people are that easily manipulated. Anyway, an enemy's military and economic resources are annihilated by means of precise strikes on strategic military and civilian infrastructure, massive use of high precision, high precision weapons and special operations robotics and weapons that use new physical principles, directed energy weapons such as lasers, short wave radiation, uh, the use of armed civilians, simultaneous battles on land, air, sea, information space, space, the use of asymmetric and indirect methods, troop management in a unified information sphere. Now, get troop. It doesn't mean that you're going to be seeing Army, Navy, personnel, in fatigues, in their uniforms. No. They dress as civilians. So here, here's a chart. Uh, targeting, intelligence collection, monitor, collect, exploit, defense, detect, prevent, secure, protect, command and control, facilitate, coordinate, synchronize, influence and inform, shape, Inform, influence, manipulate, mislead, expose, diminish, promote, deceive, coerce, deter, mobilize, convince. This is the result of what they want using the tactics of hybrid warfare. Operations, deny, disrupt, degrade, breach, destroy. How often do we see people getting denied, disrupted, degraded, destroyed? Weaponization of social network media. Activities and effects right there in that lovely, uh, whatever it is, graph. So deception they use. Creating noise or informational fog around a topic in order to distract attention from more strategically important events. Distract the public. Ah, Trump, Comey, Hillary, Steele, Dossier, Pfizer Corp, on and on. Same old, same old. Going into, uh, running into the end of the second year. Will it go on the third year? Americans are so, I don't know, incapable of thinking at this point. Are, is anyone saying, how come we can't ever seem to get any problem resolved? Because they don't need to. They just keep putting out the bullshit and Americans just, just, <laughs> they love it, I guess. They certainly don't, you know, shout for anything differently. Uh, we can now mobilize people to help one another and raise funds for social causes. Huh. Investigate crimes and provide greater assistance to humanitarian disaster relief efforts. Ah, positive effect. They can put out the lies and raise funds. And one of the ways in which they do that, well, look at all of those, uh, either false flag attacks or the fake attacks, Sandy Hook. God, how much money did they raise from the bleeding hearts that refused to look into the evidence? So they just believe whatever mainstream media tells them. But we see that over and over and over again. We have weather warfare going on. They use the technology to create these weather events. And then we see Google, you know, you, you, you go on Google, donate, donate everywhere, all over the place. It's it, it just a tactic that allows them to create a tremendous amount of wealth. Uh, hybrid warfare can be characterized as a form of warfare which compromises 
or comprises a mix of methods, conventional, unconventional, military, non-military, overt, covert, cyber, information warfare, aimed at creating confusion and ambiguity, ambiguity, ambiguity on the nature, the origin, and the objective of these actions. What makes modern warfare so different is the effects the information can cause to the development of the conflict as audience perception of the outcome of the conflict matters more than the actual facts on the ground. Yeah, audience perception. Audience perception, that's all they care about. And we need people to be concerned about the actual facts on the ground. And when they are not concerned about the actual facts, the truth, it allows them to continue to operate this hybrid warfare against us, creating more chaos, confusion. And the ultimate aim of all of it is to bring down that country. And guess what? We are sliding. We're sliding fast. The fight over control of people's perceptions and behavior has become an integral part of modern conflicts, information warfare, intelligence collection. Um, well, they, <laughs> they collect all the intelligence that they want on social media networks, including content and conversations, everything. Um, and just to, you know, do this quickly, you can read the full thing by pausing the video or read what I've highlighted. Um, yeah, they select, uh, it's the selection of targets for operations both on and offline. Social media makes it possible to get detailed information without being physically present. Useful source for situational awareness, identifying the early warning signals of a future crisis. Man, crowdsourcing is increasingly used by media employees and activists for, um, such as civic journalists for fact checking, unmasking disinformation and identifying developments in a conflict. A joint project run by the Atlantic Council and uh, Bellingcat was able to track and provide evidence of the presence of Russian troops in Ukrainian territory simply by collecting information from social media profiles used by Russian soldiers, Google Maps images. They got us locked in with the use of this uh, technology. So, with the help of open source investigation, including social media, makes it possible to counter this information, counter the truth. Cyber operations targeting social media platforms and accounts to breach password protected spaces, alter the content of a profile, or render a website completely unusable. Inclu they include actions like uh, denial of service, distributed denial of service, attacks on websites, password hacking to gain access and expose the content of chat rooms, emails, cell phones, altering content in social media accounts, uh, or intrusion into databases in order to collect information. Activities are aimed at preventing other actors from using social media platforms to communicate, coordinate, actions, access information, or distribute messages, at least temporarily. And boy, just, just look at that. Activities are aimed at preventing other actors from using social media platforms to communicate, coordinate, organize. Are you not pissed? that they have been so successful. But we allowed the success to happen without 
by by not really working on ourselves to make sure that we won't be manipulated and uh, well we really did need to act in ways that that clearly reveal that we live our principles we speak honestly we live honestly and that we keep in mind every day how we can build up trust not tear it down um, and it really it bothers me it bothers me that we haven't been able to get anywhere well command and control using social media for internal communication information sharing coordination synchronization of actions important for non-state actors such as insurgents insurgent groups or infiltrators particularly particularly if these groups lack formal structure or are dispersed over large geographical areas social media can provide a means of communication and a way to coordinate their activities however the use of social media exposes the activities of insurgent groups to intelligence services the swarming tactics, the distribution of information to mobilize and coordinate non-state actors with a common interest. Take this person down. Well, we need to have swarming tactics to lift people up. <clears throat> Using social media, actors are able to gather quickly for protests, giving security, giving security. Sorry, I didn't have that the end of that. Um, inform and influence psychological warfare, dissemination of information to influence a target audience's values, belief systems, perceptions, emotions, motivation, reasoning, and behavior. Achieve certain military effects in the cognitive domain. Shape, inform, influence, manipulate, expose, diminish, promote, deceive, coerce, deter, mobilize, convince. Some other techniques, psychological influence and manipulation on social media, the use of automatically generated content by spamming, fake identities, and that just happened to a subscriber of mine, a fake identity. I've had it happen. Uh, someone is able to create an account on YouTube and it matches perfectly with your username, your icon, everything. And then they start leaving comments that are not your comments. And that happened today. I sent a capture of a comment because it was very different from all of her comments. And I clicked on the, uh, I went to her channel, no content only 10 subscribers. I sent her a capture of both. I said, is this you? She said, no. Okay, that happens. But we need to, instead of firing back, you know, attacking and fighting with the person that now is leaving an uncharacteristic comment, we need to be aware. Okay, that's an uncharacteristic comment. So we've got to stop ourselves from lashing out and just ask the person, is this you? Um, saturating the information environment, coordinated use of blogs, posts, articles, posted and reposted by opinion leaders, activists, and fake 
personas. Uh, hijacking of trending hashtags. Order to increase the reach of a message or misdirect audiences. Targeting and distracting the opponent. Distribution of misinformation and rumors. Publicize, publicize <clears throat> an opponent's alleged wrongdoing. Attack the target. Blocking, blocking adversary content or asking social media platforms to remove the content of specific profiles by complaining about inappropriate content. How many channels have been taken down or a video taken down because you're getting now so many people who are complaining about the content and there's nothing wrong with the content except for it's a content that speaks the truth and it works involve any sort of personal attack. So don't personally attack people here, okay? Stop the personal attacks. You know, we have, we have people who are paid to personally attack people. And, but I see so many of my subscribers getting in fights with one another, personally attacking, you know, one another. Stop, please stop really be careful of what you write. You know, somebody writes something innocent and then I come across a response to that comment and it's like, you know, they're stupid or, um, and worse, for nothing. It's an innocent comment. Oof. Anyway, yeah, acquire personal information and use it to defame, ridicule, threaten. Social engineering, psychological manipulation of people into performing actions or divulging confidential information. For military purposes such as espionage, espionage and information gathering, attacks can be automated, conducted by bots, carried out by humans with fake identities, and internet trolling, organized activities by using fake identities in internet and social media in order to achieve certain effects. Phenomenon of imitating grassroots actions using social media is known as astroturfing. It's a tool of influence, spreading propaganda and rumors and distorting the online discussion by attacking commenters with alternate views. <laughs> Alternative views. Okay. Um, we've got to stop. We've got to think about what we are doing. We have to think about our own behavior. We've got to think about our comments before we um, write them and then send them off. You know, we can no longer lie. We've got to, we have to keep in the forefront of our mind every single day in terms of you know, just becoming a solid, substantive human being. Do not lie. Know who you are. Do what you say. Keep your word. Work to get your thought processes in good working order. Catch your presumptions before communicating them. Uh, recognize the limits to knowing anyone in the cyber world. Do not gossip about anyone. So before stating somebody is a shill or a disinformation agent, check to make sure that you are able to back up that claim with evidence. Not your hunch, not, well, it's just my sense. Um, this person was associating with that person. That's not evidence. Begin to unite on a common ground and don't be divisive. Flat earth, round earth. Uh, Christian, Jew, Gentile, black, white, male, female, homo, hetero, sexual, none of it matters. None of it matters, as long as you know, all of the individuals are on the side of good. Have a mindset you are uh, part of a force of good. 
working to make the world a better place. So while you're going about your day, imagine others are going about their day with the same kind of mindset that you're not alone, though you are alone in your own area, but that there are others out there. You know, be the change you want to see. Do you want to live in communities that you can trust one another? That means that you cannot lie. It means that when you do something wrong, you take responsibility for doing something wrong. Um, and that's the only way that we can clear up our own behavior, you know, to stop doing things wrong because it's really embarrassing to take responsibility for the same behavior over and over and over again. Um, though there's an awful lot of people who do do that. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And they never change. I'm not talking, that's not taking responsibility. That's simply just whitewashing, you know, just, oh, could we just, you know, just go on and never change, never change, never change. No, uh, change is important. You know, but taking responsibility for actions that you have taken that harm other people or hurt other people, that shows that you have integrity, integrity, which that's important to like put out into the world. You know, we need, we need people that are honest and trustworthy and, and people who do live with integrity, that they understand the importance of being trustworthy. They understand that their word is important. So they don't say things that they don't do. And they don't do things that they don't say or do say. <laughs> forget, forget that. But yeah, um, you know, behave with maturity. Don't get caught up in all of these dramas all over, you know, the United States, whether it's Washington, D.C. or dramas that mainstream media ignites or YouTube dramas and, whoa, okay. <sighs> that, oof, the car thing here is really, <laughs> so get really real, real, be real, be honest. And be the change, do the change, speak the change that you want to see. We're not going to get anywhere unless, unless we have an awful lot of people changing themselves. It is fundamental. Why do you think that they have beaten us down? Why do you think you know, they have broken up the family and, you know, uh, why do you think blame, that word blame in the early 80s became like, you know, a, a, a four letter word, though it's five. Suddenly blame was like off the table, like we can't hold anybody accountable. That's what makes people grow. They don't want anybody growing. They want all adults to be children. Are you a child? Do you behave like a child? Or are you an adult? Do you think like a child or an adult? Look at your behavior. You know, if you haven't looked at your behavior, you won't know. Anyway, all links are below. Um, yeah, all links are below.